Hey what's up guys, it's Exploring with Kurt, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, we're obviously in Wales in a cold and horrible rainy day. I actually emailed a company um, to see if I could get a permission visit to visit an abandoned colliery. I'm with Jordan, um, I've gone back to using a GoPro because it's raining and I just didn't want to risk my DSLR lens because it's already soaked so I'm just going to take you around the collar you know guys so we're just a approaching a um, generator room and it is lovely in here stinks in here but it is uh, lovely and decayed it is pretty so that was obviously the generator room everything would have been powered from that room uh, back in the day um, I'm just gonna wait for Jordan because we're gonna walk around together We're just going to take you to, well, the entrance of the mine shaft now, is it? Next. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, yeah, a carriage would have been parked in here, but would they have only stored coal? Probably, yeah. There's nothing on there, guys. We'll take you back, uh, back down to the actual uh, mine Just checking my lens, guys, because it is raining. But it was worth it, and we're used to it in Wales, so this was meant to have been our snow people. As you heard Jordan just say, that was the actual shaft, and you would not catch me up there. I am absolutely terrified of heights. And I'm just going to take you to the entrance of where it would have been once upon a time. As you can see, no entrance. Pitman working in shaft. This one, guys, is a really um, personal explore for J Jordan because his grandchild just sadly passed away last week. Actually, wo worked here for 45 years. 45 years, so. It's quite personal to uh, Jordan, and obviously this is where the mines would have gone. I'll take you around the other side. I'll take you around the other side of it now. So I'm just stepping really back to get some shots. The actual mine shaft view. It's, it's, um, I like this sort of thing just because it's the Welsh heritage, so it's good to learn about. Obviously where you come from and the valleys and how we've obviously all come today and it's just a history explore I like. So like I said earlier guys, I'll take you down the other side of obviously where the mine carts would have gone. Um, I do apologise if the lens is steamed up, I can't do nothing about it at the minute. Some lovely decay in here, guys, and it's just a really um, photogenic place. 